G'day folks, it's time to make the instrument panel. I haven't been looking forward to this. Um, I can't use my hammer. I don't quite get electronics and just remember my budget is but hovers around the sweet FA and non-existent. So uh, don't, don't expect anything amazing here. So this is what I've got collected all together. So we've got a pile of switches and stuff I've found out of dead aeroplanes. There's my instrument panel. I've deliberately made it small, the panel, so I couldn't put my uh, many instruments in there. This is a day VFR aircraft. I want to spend more time looking out outside the cockpit than inside it. So, uh, But I think I've sort of outdid myself a little bit. But anyway... We're working with that. So here's the, that's the pilot's instrument panel. I've got the center section and the instrument, like the little combing thing with the panel out. So I can get access into the cockpit there and see what we can do. Um, yeah, I've got switches and stuff over here. I've got a few instruments in here. I've got a radio and a couple more engine instruments. And that's gonna pretty well fill out that panel. Um, Watch this space. Boy, it looks different with the center section removed. So this is a carry through section um, between the front and the rear cockpit. And that's a structural piece. So we've, it's been built up and quite solid and all that sort of stuff. So the instrument panel screws onto that back piece there. Um, as you can tell, there's limited space this way in certain areas from the shoulder harnesses for the front cockpit. And then, of course, we've got limited space where it curves this way. So we just have to be aware of where to place instruments. If the longer one can't obviously, obviously fit here, so it'll have to sit here and things like that. This hole here is your aileron push rod comes up through here to the center section. Uh, so we have to be aware of that for wiring and, and running stuff. Um, this here I've already started, I mark it out with some, um, put some masking tape down. I can draw all over it, remove it, draw all over it again if I want to. Um, there's a fuel line, see that cap there, there's a fuel line runs this way. So what I'm trying to do is my radio has a face mounted um, panel and then a remote box with a wiring loom that is attached to it. So I'm just trying to nut out where all of that will work. So we have, um, the radio will sit here, just at this point here. That cut out there will make a little hole in this panel and it'll come down and that box will mount up against the wall here. So we'll cut that out um, and then I'll put a little, little doubler stiffener around there just to restore that strength there for the carry through. And then we'll start nutting out the rest of the uh, where things go. I think I've got it. There's my um, radio there, and oh, let's just slide him one in. So that goes like that. It had to be there because we were getting awful close to the edge of the instrument. Even then, I'll have to cut out that line there. Represents a stiffener. In behind the instrument panel so I'll have to I'll have to sort that out um, but there's airspeed aldometer I'll have a slip ball in there oil temperature or pressure rpm master battery left and right mag starter switch and then um, ICS will be over there so you can see there's limited room there the altimeter obviously is quite long, so it has to be there. And then the airspeed indicator is smaller, so it'll fit in there. And then RPM gauges are quite small, so they fit quite nicely in there as well. So that's that. And then we've got to do all of the wiring and stuff. And I've still got that to go. And we've got a little stiffener to add up into this as well for the cable that goes down to the radio. So that's tucked away neatly there. It doesn't interfere with my knees or anything like that. I reckon that's about it. We'll start cutting. 
So I've got radio, airspeed, altimeter, oil pressure, oil temp, RPM, battery, left and right mag, and a starter. That's it. Oh, I'm going to put a um, slip ball just up here somewhere and on, on the front instrument panel as well. Oh, and the front instrument panel, I've got a VSI that I had so I can see that from the aft cockpit. And these, these switches here are the most important out of the whole lot. Yes, I put a lot of thought into them. So that's that. Um, yes, very, very technical stuff going on here. Glass everywhere and all of that stuff. No, no there's not. finally made it from Bundy you may see the resemblance but he knows electrical way better than I do so he's brought all of his cool stuff with him and some more of the stuff that I didn't know I needed which is pretty much everything so I've got a bit of a map and a bit of a plan going on on the firewall here and running back along into the back of the instruments there we'll have a little turn this is more automotive style and aviation but I don't care. Um, so yeah, watch this space. day had to shoot off to work later on and I didn't get home till about two this morning so excuse me for being a little bit doughy at the moment but the electrical system's pretty well sorted I just got to do some tidying up and we can start fitting the firewall properly that's the beginnings of my um, battery compartment going in there but yeah all the wiring is pretty well laid out and um, I just got to tidy it all up now. So it goes from here and you go all the way through to our instruments here. Man, he's done a good job. So yeah, just tidy all this up and we make some little marks about where all of this goes. Yeah, imagine that. That's a massive step forward, that is. That's, um, that's huge. Yes, I know it's very basic, but still a fair bit of effort's gone into that. Just the forward planning and thinking that went in is pretty pretty cool. So yeah, that's um that's a massive step. 
firewall goes on next, and then engine. But I think I'll go and have another coffee. Actually, I might have a couple. Then we'll um, do a bit of a tidy up and we'll, we'll get back into it. So this is the battery where the battery's going to sit. So I've overbuilt that to buggery, so it's roll it as a sock. So it should take all of the poundings. I just got to make once a once the battery's in, I can make a um, uh, a lid for it basically, and then we can continue wiring. Um, fuel strainer, so that'll go from the fuel line into here and then off to the engine. We're getting very close very close to putting the fire uh, for putting the engine on mm. all right i got the battery just sitting there for now trying things out um the wiring looms all tidied up i've got well that and this is the alternator cable we've got to make a battery cable to connect all of the hoo-ha up here yet um, but that can happen when the engine is on so we've got true things um, yeah, so that's pretty well done. So I've still got to tidy up the wiring that goes down underneath here. So we've got to get in there and make it all better. Um, this is all tidied up nicely. I still got to nut out the radio stuff. So I'll have to buy a few beers for my avionics minded friends to nut that one out. Um, and that's about it. Oh, and I've got an antenna, which I think I'll put about there, somewhere like that, in the, I reckon, for the radio. But because this, this skin is curved, putting a flat piece on there isn't going to work so well. So that's just begging for a funky little um, fairing for it to sit on, I think. So, um, yeah, watch this space for that one. But I think that's about it for the electrical for now. Um, yeah, tidy that up, all oh, that can go back on, and uh, on to the next thing. That's not bad, eh?